Okay, first four chords are bittersweet. So let's look at G. Here's the first chord, G. Uh, third fret, sixth string, second finger. First finger is on the second fret of the fifth string. Then third finger is all the way over here on the first string, third fret. So if we start with our first finger, right here in the fifth string, sixth string, first string, that's G. The next chord is D. First finger is on the second fret of the third string. Second finger is on the second fret of the first string. And third finger is on the third fret of the second string. So we can practice switching those like this. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. G, two, three, four. D, two, three, four. The next chord after D is A minor. My first finger is on the first fret of the second string. Second finger is on the second fret of the fourth. My third's kind of in between the two fingers. It's on the third string, second fret. So now we have one, two, three, four. There's three chords out of the four. Let's try that again. One, two, ready, go. One, two, three, four, D. A minor. Then C is the last one. So what I'm going to do is pick up my third finger and move it over to the fifth string. Let's see. So now we have four chords. Let's try doing that slow. One, two, three, four, two, three, here comes D, A minor, C, let's do it again, here's G, D, two, three, A minor, C, G, a minor. You could also press just A minor and C. That would sound like this. One, two, ready, go. Two, three, C. And then maybe back to A minor. Actually, the song is going to go quite a bit faster the more practicing. So you'll have to spend some time practicing these chords. But it's probably one, two, three, four, one, two, three. It can be done with enough practice. Let's see how fast it is and try it. Strum for every four beats. Later on, we can do something fancier. 